Hi, I'm Jim Sakala from Drum Preserve, and this is uh, going to do a demonstrate demonstration of how we purge the air out of the headspace in this drum of uh, liquid. This is a setup that we've uh, made for our company. It's got uh, real low pressure pressure relief valves and a pressure gauge on here just to show how effective these are. Because what we don't want to do is build up any positive pressure, very, very minimal in the headspace if somebody goofs and uh, does it incorrectly. So first thing I'm gonna do is, this has got a protective covering on the, the threads. We've got a six-sided uh, diffuser that sends uh, nitrogen out in six different directions to help scour the all of the air out of the headspace above the fluid. Right now we've got uh, two and a quarter inches of uh, headspace in there, liquid up to about here. It's 50 gallons in a 55 gallon drum. And the first thing we do is install this, being careful not to cross thread it. And this has got a irradiated polyethylene gasket on it, so it doesn't take much to seal it for what we're doing. We just hand tight it's plenty. So what, what I've got here is a, a flow meter showing how many cubic feet per minute it's, it's, it's using while we're doing the, the purge assembly. This is a heated oxygen sensor, and this is a, a wideband air fuel ratio meter that we use on the dyno. It's showing us 20.9% oxygen in, in this uh, tube right now. And what I'm gonna do, just to make sure that we've got all the air, all the nitrogen purged out, so I'll turn this on. This is air. It's going to make sure that this is 20.9%. So that's all set. So we'll take the, the air getting off. Now this is how we establish a, a means of doing this properly. Uh, this is a two-stage nitrogen regulator and turn this on right now we got about 1200 pounds of uh, what seems to be ideal is to set this at about 15 pounds of pressure static we've got a valve here and a valve there and a quick coupler so what I'm going to do set this up and I'm going to start the purge process I'll wait for this to Come around for five more seconds and we'll time to see how long it takes to get 100% nitrogen. So right now we're going to see this, it's going to convert from air, air fuel ratio to lambda and um, 1.00 lambda is a total absence of oxygen. So we're down to 1.13 and we're using just uh, about oh, two and a, a third cubic feet per minute of nitrogen. And we're down to 102, 101 and here we are. We're, and that took us about 45 seconds. Uh, I'll turn this off. Okay, and then what, we, what we would do is we, this is just for demonstration. So uh, when we're done purging, we just reassemble this. And what I want to make sure is that this is safe. If somebody totally goofs up, I'm going to remove our O2 sensor and flow meter. back on, put the plug in, get rid of this, so if somebody goofed, this is a pretty thin plastic, it's got a good seal around here, but if somebody was to goof, and say forget this is in instead of turning this off and removing it 
you turn it back on. And now this, the safety relief valves maintain just over one PSI of pressure in the drum. And now if somebody goofs even more because the way the regulators work, to increase the fuel pressure, or the nitrogen pressure, we turn it in. Well, somebody might think, well, let's turn it off. And uh, they go to, this is wide open, and it's about 25 PSI, and we're still uh, totally safe. So this is a foolproof system. Now we can shut it down, turn this off, turn this off, disconnect the nitrogen, and remove this just very gently. And when the threads are loose, put this, the standard plug in place and tighten it up. And all of the air is purged from the top of the liquid in there. So when we're done, we, we'll put this the storage cap back on. It'll be all set for the, for the next drum. So that's the system. Fail safe, foolproof, and uh, this will work perfectly. So we spent uh, 45 seconds at a little over two um, cubic feet per minute. So in practice, if instead of 45 seconds, because you won't have a flow meter on the job, and you won't have this pressure gauge, just run it for 60 seconds and you can be uh, assured that all the air is purged from the, the headspace in the drum.